Chapter 9, The Middle Way. There are three treasures on this chapter. First treasure is located in the giant room with the stone globe in the center of it. If you look along the left wall, you will see the first treasure on the ground. It is a coin of some sort. It is a King Bohemond III coin. He was way better than Bohemond II. The next treasure is found right after you light all the braziers. You and Cutter are going to need to work together to open up a, a little dam here to fill a reservoir with water. Once the reservoir is full, you'll jump in, and if you look up and to the right, you'll see the next treasure sitting up in a nook. You'll have to shoot it down. Be ready to be quick on the triangle button to grab it, or else it'll sink on you. And it is an antique cuff bracelet. And the final treasure for this chapter is located once you lower the hidden stairway to get into the inner sanctum. Once you make your way up to the top, the stairway will disappear. And if you look immediately to the left, your buddies might be in the way. You'll see the last treasure on the bottom shelf sitting by a casket with a skeleton in it. It is a Crusader Fleur de Lis. Looks pretty cheap. In Chapter 10, Historical Research, Nate and Sully reunite with Elena. First treasure is located right off the bat. At the bottom of the first stairway, you'll see a merchant under an umbrella. If you look right to the left, you'll see first treasure behind a table with some nuts on it. It is an antique cloak clasp. Next treasure is located a little further up, the bottom of the stairs here. Hang a right, you'll see a little pool with a fountain. In the corner is the next treasure. And it is a silver jambaya dagger, much like the one used by the killer And I Know What You Did Last Summer. Then you will come to a locked gate that Elena convinces a guy to unlock for you. I'd unlock a gate for Elena. She's kind of hot. After this, the next treasure staring you right in the face. You just walk up and grab it. It is a golden Yemeni bracelet. That is pretty tacky. Next, you'll find yourself in an apartment where everything is decorated red. Make your way up the stairs, and if you look behind you, you will see some red couches. On the floor beside the couch is the next treasure. It is a traditional silver bead. That is a huge bead. Good luck making a necklace out of those. After this, you will get into a heated exchange in a marketplace that eventually leads to Nate viciously murdering a dozen men with his bare hands. As you flee the market, if you look to the right, you will see our next treasure kind of in a little nook on the ground there. It is a necklace. It's an amber and silver necklace. Looks like it was made by a third grader. And at the bottom of these stairs here, hang a right, you will see the next treasure on the ground. It is a caraman amber necklace. Very awesome. Next treasure is right above this. Jump up and it's located behind some boxes. It is an unusual red bead necklace. That's true, there's nothing usual about that. Chapter 11, The Carpet and the Drapes. First treasure is located right off the bat. Once you make your way down into this underground cavern, before you drop to the ground, you'll want to shuffle your way along this ledge around to the back side. First treasure is just sitting there. And it is a gaudy ring. It is a silver and coral ring. You can kill someone if you punch them while wearing it. After you, Elena, and Sully open the secret door with the holes in the wall, you'll find yourself in this hallway with statues on both sides. After the third set of statues, you'll come onto this big open room. Immediately on the ground to your left is the next treasure. It's another crooked dagger. It's a silver and leather dagger. Rad. Your path will then be blocked by two giant statues, and you'll have the option of going right or left. Let's go down the left path first. You'll come to this room with the gears in it. If you hang a right, you'll go up some stairs and drop down, and located behind a pillar is the next treasure. It is a pearl and emerald brooch. Now if you go down the right passageway, you'll go to the room with all the floating body parts in it. There are two treasures located in this room. The first treasure is at the bottom of the stairs. If you hang a left in the corner, you'll find a silver box pendant. That thing is hideous. 
This next one's kind of tricky. You light this lantern torch device so you can line up the body parts and create a shadow on the wall. But before you do that, if you look way, way up on the ceiling, you'll see the next treasure that's glowing seemingly out of reach. You need to aim this torch device way up there and it causes some bats to fly around, which in turn drops the treasure. And after all this work, you're rewarded with a silver filigree bracelet. After you emerge from the underground, you'll come out to a little marketplace area. There are three treasures here. The first one's located right to the right. And a little walk tunnel at the end is the first. It is an Amazonite and Amber necklace. Next treasure is found just up ahead here. You'll see a fountain. Hang a right. And on a bench at the end of the walkway is a silver capsule pendant. I think they had one of those in the Da Vinci Code. Final treasure for this area is on the other side of the fountain, sitting on the ground in the middle of this busy market, the treasure that nobody wants, the Amazonite and Amber Earring. At this point, Nate proceeds to drop acid, have lunch with some old friends, and get into a very exciting and lengthy foot chase with Talbot through the streets of Yemen. Reminds me of Point Break. The only thing missing is having Talbot throw a pit bull at him mid-chase. Anyway, you eventually get spit out in this marketplace area, go up some steps to the right, and on the ground behind a counter is the final treasure of this chapter. It is a silver Yemeni bangle. Yay! Chapter 12, Abducted. Once you beat the room full of grown men to death, you climb this ladder, and on the opposite side of the room, you'll have to jump across a gap. You'll find the first treasure located behind some tires. And it is a seahorse Vesta case. And you got a trophy!